All right, guys, so in uh, this video, I'm going to make it super simple and straight to the point is what are your best settings so you can export in Adobe Premiere Pro? So right here, I have a completely finished timeline. And the first thing that I do is I go to file, go down to export. And FYI, this timeline is 4K. So you go to media and you will have this export setting. So what I do is you want to label your file name, whatever it is, and wherever it is going to go. Format is always H.264. And I go to match source high bitrate. You don't need to worry about any of the other things. What you need to do is click match source, and it will automatically detect what type of video that you dropped into your timeline, and that will be its export settings. But if you wanted to change it, just say you want to downscale it, you can always put 1920. and I'll do it by 1080. And then, but for this point, I'm gonna export it in 4K. So I'm gonna click that, and as you can see, it goes to 38040 in 4K. And then you wanna do this at maximum render quality. You'll be surprised if you uncheck and check this, it will make a huge difference in rendering quality for your video. Scroll down, and this is for performance, is you wanna make sure it's on hardware encoding. Software encoding is not as fast, as you can see here, utilizes available NVIDIA hardware for quicker encoding. Software is to disable it. So it uses your graphics card so you can actually process this video faster. You can go all the way down and you go to see this called bitrate settings. So for bitrate settings, what you want to do is you want to go to VBR to pass. So think of this as a filter. You want the video to scan the video once and then a second time. And these are the bit rates. So the higher the number goes, the more higher quality the video will actually be. So from my experience, I usually put this at 12 to 16, right? You can do this higher, lower, or at its default, 12 and 16. Scroll down, and everything you leave is as is. And uh, this will be the best video quality settings, highest capable for YouTube, right? So in a perfect world, right, you can export this, drag the slider all the way to the highest that it can go. But because YouTube already compresses your video file, you're not going to really be able to tell the difference. So I usually leave it at 12 to 16. You can do 19 to 24. Just know that the target bit rate is going to be the lowest and the max is going to be the highest that it's going to go. So like I said, H.264, you have your video file, making sure that it's processed at the correct dimensions, you want to check this maximum render quality, click export, and that will have your highest video quality settings for YouTube. But another extra hack is if you actually press Q, it will add this to media encoder. So you, you press Q and it will actually bring up your media encoder. And as you can see, I have two video files already lined up, but if you use CUDA, on top of it, you can actually render multiple videos at a higher speed rate, render rate, in comparison if you were just to do that within Adobe Premiere. So that was a little hack, and that, guys, is how you have the highest export quality settings so you get best bang for your buck in all of your videos. If you want more tips and tricks in Adobe Premiere, check out the link in the description as well that there is a one-month free of a Skillshare so you can get all my courses for free for a month. You love it, you hate it, and you can decide afterwards whether or not you want to continue. So make sure to grab all of my resources, link in the description below, and my name is Peter, that's me right there, and I show you how to be a better content creator. You're watching Broken Vineyard Collective, where we all serve nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.